Hi guys, this is Vetri. In this video, we are going to see about graph traversal and what is graph traversal, right? Graph traversal, which is nothing but it's a kind of process to visit all the nodes in the graph, right? So it's a process of visiting all the nodes in the graph, okay, without forming a loop or cycle. Okay, we know that what is cycle and loop. When we're doing the example, let me explain about that, okay? And we can use this uh, traversal method for searching an element, for searching a node. So in graph we used to call the node as vertex. Okay. So we can uh, search the element from the graph also. It's possible by using graph traversal method. Okay. So in graph traversal we are having two different categories. Okay. The methods. First method is BFS, breadth first search, and another one is DFS, depth first search. So, breadth first search is completely based on a breadth by level orders, okay, order of the graph. And what about depth first search? So, it will be, it, this is also based on that uh, depth means height, height of the graph, okay. And for breadth first search, we are going to use Q data structure and for depth first search, we are going to use stack data structure, okay. So, let me explain one by one with an example. First, we are going to see breadth first search. Okay, see, it's an undirected graph, right? Because there is no direction in the edges, so it's an undirected graph. And I'm going to uh, traverse this uh, graph by using BFS method. Okay, so first uh, step of the traversal method is first you have to find out which one is the source node or starting vertex. Okay, see here they didn't mention any node, any vertex as starting vertex so what you have to do is so you have to take you can take any node any vertex as starting node starting vertex okay so if they have given any particular node means you have, you have to start with that particular node so so here they didn't give uh, any node okay as a source node so i'm going to choose a as my starting vertex okay so i'm going to start from a okay so after choosing the source node what you have to do is so you have to make, I already explained that BFS is based on Q data structure. We are going to follow the Q data structure method for inserting an element and printing an element. Okay. So see, first you have to make, first find out how many elements, how many vertexes are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 vertex. So make an Q. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6. Okay. Now, so after choosing the starting vertex, you have to insert that value, that element into the queue. Okay. And on the next step, so in your notebook, you have to uh, draw for each and every uh, visit. So you have to draw a separate queue structure. Okay. So for the space issue, I'm using the same queue so you have to uh, for every insertion for every uh, visiting a new no, new vertex so you have to make one new uh, queue structure okay now so after visiting the starting vertex then you have to find out what are the adjacent vertices of that a that node okay so what are the adjacent vertices we are having adjacent vertices of a is c it has connection to B and it has connection to E and it has connection to D, right? So take all these three. So you have to take all these three vertices. So first write D, E and B, okay? So after completing, okay, after completing A, so just make a strike out because A is printed now a printer okay then find out the next vertex in the queue okay so next vertex is d find out the adjacent vertices of d so what are the vertices available see from d a is available and e is only we have only two vertexes available okay so a and e but see here a and e already in the queue right a and E already in the queue. A is already visited and E is going to be visited next. Already is in the queue. So no need to visit anything. Okay. So 
let's take it out so if, if you have no any if you don't have any uh, vertex in the queue means you have to add in the queue so for the on the next step you know that okay now for e find out so now d is printed for e see for e what are the adjacent vertices we are having for e b is an adjacent vertices and wait wait b is an adjacent vertices and c f okay b is already there so we have to insert c and f okay so we have to insert c and f now e is visited okay next next one is b see here in b so is that here we have visited two new nodes right from e so you have to mark e to f and e to c okay so after that next one is b so from b what are the two or uh, three adjacent vertices a e and c c a is already visited c already in the queue and c is is also in the queue okay so a and e is already visited c is in the queue right so there is no need no need to visit any new node okay because everything is in the queue now coming to c c here from c uh, what are the adjacent vertices here we have four vertices okay b e f and g so find out which one is not uh, visited which one is not inserted in the queue c is already there b already visited e is already visited f also it's in the queue and g g only is not visited okay so you have to insert g here okay now so now c is visited okay c2 g is the new one now from f is there any new node no so already you have visited all the nodes right and from g is there any new node c f is everything is in the queue so no need to visit any new nodes okay so that's all so just insert the data just, just insert the data in the same order okay a b e c f g so this is the order and find out the red mark the edges okay this is going to be our spanning tree so both breadth first and depth first tree, uh, tree uh, depth first search is going to produce a spanning tree of the uh, graph okay see so you have to start from a b c g d e and f so by using those edges right and then from e to c and e to f and c to g so this is going to be our output okay the final spanning tree from after after by after applying breadth first search tree breadth first search method in this graph okay so the method is very simple so first thing you have to find out the source web source vertex after that you have to find out the adjacent vertex one by one and then you have to uh, insert insert the adjacent vertices uh, into the queue and apply the and meanwhile you have to after visiting the each and every vertex you have to print the value just simple the printing and inserting concept is quite similar because queue is following first in first out data structure so there is no changes there is no changes between between this uh, inserted uh, from the queue structure as well as in the output structure okay it's going to be same okay so don't confuse with this two okay so that's it and uh, next we will see about depth first uh, search by using the same graph okay now so we are going to see how how to work out depth first search uh, method in the same graph okay see here i already explained that uh, in depth first search dfs we are going to use stack data structure okay so simple first you have to find out by using the same strategy okay so first you have to find out which one is going to be the source vertex starting vertex so i am going to keep a as my starting vertex then find out how many data how many elements are available how many vertexes are available 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन वेर टैक्स ओके सो यू हैव टू क्रिएट वन स्टैक ओके वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सो हियर आई हैव अ स्टैक विद साइज ऑफ सेवन ओके नाउ फर्स्ट वट यू हैव टू डू इज फर्स्ट फाइंड आउट द सोर्स वेर टैक्स स्टार्टिंग वेर टैक्स विच इज ए जस्ट प्रिंट ए इन टू द स्टैक ओके सो आफ्टर दैट सो इन breadth for search we used to take all the adjacent vertices right but here we have to take only one so you can choose any vertex but you have to choose only one so you cannot traverse you cannot take all those uh, adjacent vertices like uh, we have followed in the breadth for search okay in bfs so here we have adjacent vertices as b e and d so you can take any vertex now i am going to take b okay so i am going to take b so just make a draw b okay so after that you have to find out the adjacent vertices from b okay so what are the adjacent vertices we are having a and c and e we are having three vertices already a is visited no need to visit it again so now we have only two options either e or c okay so i am going to choose e now okay then so from e find out the adjacent vertices what are the adjacent vertices available so from e f is there and a is there b is there c is there and d is there okay so i am going to choose d now okay so from d now find out is there any new vertex which is going to be visited see what are the available at two adjacent vertices is a and e already a and e is visited right so what you have to do is you have to apply the backtracking method so there is no uh, here i have stuck right so i have no i have i don't have any route to visit my next location next uh, data so what you have to do is simple method is called backtracking okay so backtracking which is nothing but you are going to uh, follow the same rule from the previously visited a node previously visited vertex previously visited location okay see now so just backtrack one step this is the one which i have visited last week right so what you have to do is just go back from d to e then e i have some other options also right so from e i have chosen d so instead of that you can choose either c or f okay so you can choose c now okay so from c if you are choosing c means so what you have to do after backtracking so from e we are, we are going to apply c now okay so from c find out what are the available adjacent vertices g is available f is available e is available already b is visited e is visited right so we have only two options f or g so i am going to take yes okay so i am going to take yes now so from yes what are the available vertices from f we are having e c and g but c and e is already visited so you can visit only g right okay so i have visited g so after that just find out how many element is going to be visited see 1 2 3 4 5 6 still c d is not visited okay so what you have to do is again you have to apply the backtracking method simple if you are going to one particular location means so you are continuously uh, getting the data and means what you have to do so you will just go back and find out some other rules right so this is what we are going to do in here also so find out so first backtracking from g okay see yes okay so we don't have any other options also from here so what you have to do is just go back once again go to c so from c we have g but already we have exp uh, experimented with g okay so no need to visit to g again because however it's going to get break by here so again go back we are in c e now so from e we have tested d f and 
uh, C, right? So not we have checked uh, F also, but from uh, by using C, so we have checked the F also by uh, applying by reaching G here, right? So again, go back to P, okay? So now we are at stage B. So in B, I have visited only uh, A and I have verified with E. So I have only one option, which is C, okay? So just I am going to visit C now, okay? After that, already by using C, I have checked E and F, right? So if I am choosing this route means definitely I will not go to my place. I definitely I cannot reach, right? Because by using uh, previously I have checked with, with those routes, right? So I am going to choose G now. C, A, B, C and G, okay? See, after that, what you have to do? So from G, I have two options, right? Either C or F, but C already visited. So I cannot go there, so I have to choose F, okay? From F, I have two options, right? Three options. One is G, C and E. So C, G is already visited, so I cannot go to those locations. So I have to come to E, okay? And finally, from E, just find out what are the available vertices. We have five vertices, F, D, A, B, C, okay? So, except D, everything is visited, all the nodes are visited. So, we cannot go to the visited node, right? So, you have to choose only D, okay? So, now check A, B, C, G, E, F, E, D. So, that's going to be our final spanning tree, okay? So, let me draw that one. A, B, C, G, F, E, D. Right? A to B and then B to C, C to G, F, E and D. Okay? So by looking from, by, from the graph, by looking we can easily find out so how, uh, how how our output is going to be right so from the picture without applying this technique and logics so directly i can say that so what are the available options by using directly i can go to a b c g f e d so by using this method there won't be any loops there won't be any cycle forming so directly i can do it right but you have to apply this method for each and every visit you have to draw a separate stack diagram so then only you'll get a good mark okay uh, the valuer, valuer will check all those things because so directly you can write it now without applying this method so uh, you can apply, they, at least you have to apply two or three backtracking steps otherwise so it won't look good right now see so that's all uh, in this uh, video we have seen about uh, what is graph traversal and uh, what are the two different types of traversal methods first one is BFS breadth first search and another one is DFS depth first search. BFS following a queue data structure and DFS following a stack data structure. Okay, the logics are very simple and for both traversal method the output is going to be the spanning tree of the graph. Okay, so that's it and if you have any doubts you can comment in comment section and thanks for watching and repeat the video at least two or three times then only you will get a clear idea especially uh, in dfs okay bfs is, uh, looks very simple but dfs is uh, slightly complicated when we comparing with bfs okay so thanks for watching once again thank you